Something Better by Dr. Mike Sisson, Principal, Hammond Baptist Grade School. It was a stormy night in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A distinguished looking gray haired gentleman and his wife walked into the lobby of a small downtown hotel called the Pennsylvania Club. The clerk behind the desk was a young man named George Bolt. For several years, he had worked the night shift at the hotel. My wife and I need a room, the gray haired man stated. Looking at the pouring rain outside, the lady said to her husband, What are we going to do? We'll just have to keep looking, he said as he picked up their suitcase and headed for the door. Wait a minute, said George. I can't let you folks go outside on a night like this. The hotel provides me with a small room where I can even catch a few winks when things settle down here at the counter. You folks can have that room. Oh, we couldn't take your room, said the lady. Yes, yes, I insist, said George. I can sleep here behind the counter. He handed them the key to his room. The next morning, when the couple checked out, George was still working at the counter. The couple thanked him for his kindness. Young man, with a spirit like yours, you should be running a big hotel. You should have something better than this, said the gray-haired gentleman, as George helped them put their luggage in the waiting taxi. Oh, I don't know about that, replied George. I'll probably spend the rest of my life right here. Two years passed. George was still the night clerk at the small hotel. A letter arrived from New York City. Inside was a train ticket and a note from the gray-haired gentleman. Some time ago, you showed kindness to me and my wife. Please use the enclosed ticket to meet me in New York. I have a proposal for you. George had a few days off, so he went to New York. The older man met him and took him to the corner of 5th Avenue and 34th Street. There, he pointed to a beautiful new building, several stories high. He handed George a key and said, That's your new hotel. I built it for you to run. That gray-haired gentleman was William Waldor Astor. At that time, he was one of the richest men in America. The building was the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, the largest, most elegant hotel in the United States. And George Bolt, the night clerk from the little hotel in downtown Philly, became its first manager all because of some kindness shown to an older couple on a stormy night.